welcome guys uh in this uh beautiful video so we are going to be looking at the uh the power of the fibonacci retracement how effective this wonderful tool is uh i really don't know why a lot of traders they like to throw aside a lot of working material uh so we are just going to be digging deeper into the fibonacci retracement uh if you don't know how to use it it's simple you're going to understand it in the video but i will not just be focusing on how to place it and everything i'll be focusing on how to really make it work on your favor by uh increasing uh, uh that accuracy in your entries because the only thing that a lot of traders are looking for it is uh, uh where to enter that's the main question that traders are looking for where to enter and the simple answer is fibonacci retracement that's the simple answer where do i enter here is a beautiful tool for you so let us get started i'm also going to be highlighting uh, uh on how to use it when it comes to momentum and also some uh multiple time frame analysis how to apply it when you are a multiple time frame analyst so we are going to be using the gbp usd as our main example here uh, uh if you can see properly in my fibonacci i have narrowed it down to some uh to just uh, uh four ratios the 100 percent the 61 the 50 and the 38 percent so i just narrow it to these key uh levels which are uh, uh, some kind of significant because there is no need for you to have all the ratios in between you just need the most uh, accurate one you need to narrow it uh, to just give us a better signal now so one important fact about it it is that this tool is uh, truthful meaning it really resembles what happening in real life in the marketplace it really resembles what happened in real life in the marketplace because usually this is not just a tool uh, which applies only in the market but it is a natural tool so that's what makes it a beautiful tool it's a natural tool which applies not only in the market but in trees in 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 in, in animals in uh, in in every part of our uh, 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 life it occurs that uh the fibonacci ratios they apply that why those who, who who know mathematics they 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 know it from mathematics you see uh others they just figured it out in trading so because we are also creatures as traders né? and what uh impacts the market most it is our thinking né? it is our thinking so that's why this tool is very very uh, effective it is because the market is influenced or the market is moved by the way we think or the way we behave so if it is moved by the way we think or the way we behave then it means that this tool is going to work wonders for us né? so i'm just going to be using a scenario of a downtrend here a scenario of a downtrend here no? that remember when the market is moving down when the market is moving down for you to find your next entry remember your next entry it is what a cell no? for you to find your next entry which is a cell for you to put the tool correctly you need to drag it from your previous high to your most recent low to find the next high the most important thing is that you need to make sure that one you you have already received your low no? you have already received your low and your low this is just something that will help you guys because some people will say what if i thought this was the low your low should be a low which broke the market flow or the market pattern which broke the market flow or the market pattern of this impulsive the way this impulsive is moving let it be broken then you are going to consider your low as a good low for an example here you can see that here our structure was broken here so if the price is here then you know that this is my kind of recent low né? so the next point which you need will be your high where you will enter what you sell so that why then you need to be taking your fibonacci retracement and placing it in your next uh in your in your recent high né? in your recent high or in your previous high and then drag it to your most recent low and then extend it then you are going to be watch to watch price play out and here is an important uh, tip because a lot of people will say usually price will come and bounce here and then go up again this is just a simple tip you have to apply the same method that you applied in this impulsive wave when you are trying to detect if this is a real low the same level is consider the market flow or the market pattern of what 
of the corrective because now we are in the corrective ne? we are looking to sell from the corrective so detect the market flow uh i don't know let me let me let me let me clear my screen a bit so that it will be clear identify the market flow how was the market going up uh, where is this how was the market going up and after you find out how was the market going up for an example here the market was simply flowing in a manner of kangles not actually waves but i'm going to as, as the video proceed when i'm talking about uh applying it in multiple time frame i'm going to tell you uh in this scenario what to do ne? this is the the the, uh, the corrective flow ne? so for you to really know if the fibonacci because it itself it really needs to be confirmed ne? to really know if the fibonacci was telling you the truth here in this 61 percent uh a level you need to wait for a further confirmation which will be a breakout of this upward flow of the market then after it's broken then you can enter yourselves remember this is a trending market ne? this is the beginning of a downtrend why because this low was broken here so it was a breakout of an uptrend then a beginning of a downtrend we're looking for our first entry so you need to know that if you are taking a downtrend it's a market that is going to move down continuously so there is no need for you to say i'm afraid i'm entering here i would have received my entry here no because this market is still going to go down so you have you you don't have to have that mindset of saying i would have entered early just wait for the right confirmation that's just wait for the right confirmation for you to enter that market then let's go to the next part of uh, 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 the multiple time frame. Okay, let me erase here. So let's say now you put uh, your, your, your Fibonacci. Let's say you just put your Fibonacci and it happens that in this case, the market pushes down, it goes up and it retraces at the 60% level, it goes down again. And then let's say it happens in another, in the next move. Let's say I'm just putting it here let's say it happens in the next move that your your market moves uh where is my drawing tool your market moves bounces on the zero you put your fibonacci and then now your your price is bouncing in the 38 going down ne? you see firstly it bounced on the 68 now it's bouncing on the 38 ne? then this is telling you about the momentum that wow what a beautiful thing what wow, my sellers are getting stronger my sellers are getting uh, uh stronger i'm trying to 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 draw a, a bicep here this is telling you something that wow my sellers they are getting very 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 stronger so because of this understand that firstly the, the retracement was at 61 now the retracement is at 38 which means that the strength of the sellers is going up and the strength of the buyers is going down so you see that it also applies in terms of momentum in terms of telling you the power then when it comes to multiple time frame analysis this is what you should do remember we usually have three time frames ne? we usually have our high time frame which may be let me make an example let's say your high time frame is the four hour and then your middle time frame is the one hour and then your smaller time frame is the m30 which is the 30 minute ne? remember this in the hard time frame we are assessing what the direction and the key levels ne? we are assessing the direction and the key levels so it will be helpful if you as a trader you narrow down your fibonacci uh, uh, analysis into maybe your hard time frame if you want something better ne? i don't say you shouldn't use it here you can use it here but just that a lot of traders they are confused on where should i apply my fibonacci on the one hour or on the m30 ne? on the m30 so remember these mostly in this time frame that's where we go for confirmation further confirmation for an example oscillators ne? but the real magic is happening here in these two time frames and the greatest magic is happening on the bigger time frame where we detect direction and key levels ne? so it's better also because key levels are those supports and resistance those highs and lows it will be much better if you can say I limit my Fibonacci to my hard time frame where I spotted what the direction. Remember, the Fibonacci works with the trend 
excuse me it works with the trend so it will be better if you can narrow it to say i'm narrowing it down to where i received my market direction my trend ne? then in your four hour i mean in your one hour that's where you'll be looking the thing that i told you what the flow or the pattern breaks ne? because they become more visible there they become in a form of waves not just a series of kings ne? because price in a lower time frame is more detailed than it is on a hard time frame so you you better be checking uh, uh, your one hour or your mid time frame for further confirmation of a pattern break uh, so that you can enter your trade but don't confuse yourself by placing a fibonacci on four hour and again going to place it on one hour it will be totally different why because the market structure is totally not the same so i hope it is going to, to be helpful guys uh when it comes to an uptrend this is the same thing the only difference is that now when you drag your fibonacci let me see if i can have something like it, just an upward move the difference is that when you drag your fibonacci you place it let's say you want to detect your next entry which is maybe will be your next low let's say here was your previous low and then this is just the most recent high ne? this is just the most recent high so you just drag it down going up and extending it ne? now you no longer drag it up going down you drag it down going up and then you extend it you wait for price to bounce and then you wait for a flow break or a pattern break remember if it's a trending market you shouldn't mind if the real play out happened here if the real structure happened there that's where the breakout happened that's the significant thing waiting for the right time to enter waiting for the right time to enter i will repeat again wait for the right time to enter don't uh fear to miss out opportunities are always there the market is moving from monday to friday so we have a uh, plenty of opportunities plenty of opportunities don't rush wait for the right time to enter thank you guys for watching this video uh i, I, I recommend that you uh subscribe in this channel because i do post frequently and i post educational material that i believe will uh, uh take you to the next level when it comes to your trading and uh just press that like button if you really enjoyed this video it will be better if you can also drop a comment it really uh, motivates me and it really keeps the channel uh, up and running so thank you